without that caveat. So if you're ready for college, you're good to go. How do I turn around my GPA? How do I succeed in a hearing academic environment? The first step is to figure out what my challenges are and how to accomplish. There are challenges. We have language deprivation, educational issues where we don't have access to education. We might be behind educationally. That's not our fault. Sometimes there are theory of mind delays in DHH people, which means it's hard to enter social situations and interact with others, how to be political or diplomatic in particular situations. What's the best way to see another person's perspective when you're upset? For example, like, thank you for the lesson you just taught me by punching me in the face. That's pretty hard to say, right? So sometimes you have to catch up with theory of mind. Sometimes there's just not equal access to education for DHH people, even with accommodations. For example, research shows that people who have sign language interpreters typically score lower than people who are hearing in that same environment. Same with captionists. For example, I took a math class, and the teacher would say, okay, we add this, and then we add this with that number over there, and then you see this here, look at this, you three, you add these three things, and then, and the captionist is captioning, and they're just waiting for numbers. I mean, I love captionists, don't get me wrong, you're great, I love you, but, you're waiting for the language and you're catching up, catching up. And then I'm reading the captions and it says, put this number here. And I look up and he's not pointing at it anymore. My professor's now over on the other side of the room. You know, he's getting a glass of water, he's done. So all of that access is not provided to us. We do have a delay and that's important to understand. So now, what strategies help us? You know, there are several, but I'm going to try to pick my particular favorite. 